Hey, it's Amanda Green here, um, and I'm just sitting in my car outside of Woolies. I've just done um, the weekly grocery shop, uh, kid free, husband free, and um, so I just wanted to take two seconds to have a little bit of a chat. Um, so I'm just going to switch hands. A uh, couple of things Monday morning, it's Saturday today. Um, I've got my last uh, doctor's appointment, so that's pretty, pretty exciting. Um, and yeah, so only one more baby update from a doctor's appointment, so that's cool. And um, the other thing I wanted to talk to about, talk to you about, um, is that um, it sort of started to get really real now. Um, we're yeah, we're in the days, and um, I'm sort of starting to think that maybe I might not make it. You know, I've dropped right down. It's literally like a you know, a basketball um, sitting above my pelvic bone there and it looks like that as well. Um, everybody that I walk past in the supermarket, etc., you know, is commenting about, you know, how low I am and um, so yeah, so um, it will be interesting to see if I make it. My husband told me the other day that I just need to keep my legs crossed um, and I'm thinking I just need to hang in there until the 12th when uh, Poppy arrives. So. Um, yeah, so we can't make it all the way to the 17th. Uh, next best is the 12th when uh, Poppy arrives and, um, you know, unfortunately these things are a little bit out of our control. When the baby's ready to come, the baby will be ready to come. So, yeah, so I just thought I'd have a little bit of a chat to you whilst I am kid free and husband free and just sort of um, get you up to speed on, uh, you know, how I've been feeling. Um, I don't know, just a little bit of C-section background. On my first C-section, there was no time, you know, like obviously he was breech and when we had our 38 week appointment, the doctor's just like, oh, you're coming back for a C-section tomorrow. Uh, you know, he's breech, it's not gonna happen for you, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh, okay. Didn't have time to, to think about it and give it any thought. And, um, you know, with our second, so obviously I wasn't stressed, I wasn't worried, I wasn't anxious. Uh, with our second, I have to say, knowing that I was signing up for a C-section um, because of a previous one, um, left me with a little bit of anxiety, you know, like there's just, you've just got that little bit more to lose if things go wrong. And I'm a fairly morbid sort of person in the sense that, you know, like I, I do think about, um, you know, death and my mortality and, and those sorts of things, not in a depressing way, but just in a, you know, like I just like to consider all sort of outcomes and, and um, be prepared sort of way. So when I when I was getting, a couple of weeks out from giving birth to Kane, sorry about the light, every time a, a car drives by or a person walks by, it's a different sort of light. But um, when, I was all set to give birth to Kaylin. I remember um, obviously having this massive sense of anxiety, you know, just one, one extra little person that I did not want to leave. And um, I remember calling mum and dad and, and saying to them, you know, like a couple of days before the C-section, um, you know, like if anything happens, you know, promise me you're going to look after Lee and Thierry. And that made me feel so much better just know I mean I, I know that they would anyway but just having vocalized that and um, have said that to them made me feel better uh, and again obviously when we had to have a c-section for Nalia you know the anxiety levels were just that little bit more because there was just that extra person that you know like you didn't want to leave and you didn't want to lose so needless to say I have four beautiful people at home that I don't want to leave and don't want to lose. So my anxiety levels are, are pretty high at the moment. And um, so, yeah, so I've made a little bit of a video and I don't know whether I should post it or not post it or what to do with it. Um, it's just a video and it was a sort of, I, I called it my just in case goodbye video. Um, and yeah, so that sort of, that process has made me 
feel a little bit better, you know, like sort of a weight's been lifted, eyes have been dotted, T's have been crossed, that sort of thing. So that's what's going on in my head with regards to um, the C-section. So um, yeah, so I'm just, at this moment in time, I'm just crossing my fingers that I'm going to make it. Um, like I said, I just did a big grocery shop and we stuck to budget. Um, but I got a whole bunch of mints and, you know, those Chinese takeaway containers. So I'm going to make up some, you know, pasta bolognese sauce and savory mints and stuff like that. that can freeze easy that I know that the kids like that they won't give, excuse me, Poppy any grief over. Um, when it comes to dinners, you know, if I can make it as smooth sailing as possible for Dad, that's that's what I want to do. So, um, so I did a big stock up then. And I will, you know, get some little snacks and cupcakes and stuff made in the freezer. Luckily for, for Dad, it, it'll be, be on school break that um, he'll be looking after him if it all goes to plan. So, um, but I will still get quite a bit of stuff in the freezer ready to rock and roll just in case. So that's what I'm thinking this weekend's going to be about for me. Um, just sort of, you know, cooking and, and stocking up the freezer and I'm going to sneeze. Oh, excuse me. Um, so, yeah. Um, other than every time I take a step, I feel like I'm going to pee my pants. Things are great. Uh, I've got uh, really bad carpal tunnel syndrome in my hands, which I think is pretty common in uh, the last trimester of pregnancy, so nothing to be concerned about. Um, certainly know, well I certainly think I know what it's going to be like to get arthritis in my old age in my hands. It's kind of um, horrendous, you know, like chopping up your, your steak or whatever you're having for dinner at night time even sort of aches and hurts your hands. So I'm sort of sympathising for those people that, uh, you know, have arthritis in, in their hands and stuff. It must be exceptionally painful on a daily basis to just to do like the regular um, activities so yeah and what else has been happening the kids had their sports day yesterday so I ran around well not ran I uh, I waddled around the sports oval um, at the school um, going from event to event to event so I think I might have overdid it a little bit yesterday so you know aside from cooking up a little bit of a storm this weekend the plan is to sort of take it easy and uh, for, uh, for daddy to do a lot of the work um, that needs to be done around the house and you know entertain the kids I have found myself to be getting really um, short tempered which I don't don't like you know I'm tired and cranky a lot easier and um, you know it's, that's not particularly nice um, you know it's not what I want um, my time to be with the kids before the c-section I, I just want it to be nice and um, sorry I should turn the air conditioner down it's quite it's hot and yucky here especially sitting in the sun but um, it must sound so cyclonic on the on the video um, so yeah so I, 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 have, I have a bit of a also a bit of a, a battle going on in my head with a little bit of guilt in terms of I know this is going to be my last pregnancy ever and you know that's in itself sort of emotional to say and um, what, what the guilt is coming from and I'm certainly feeling guilt because I, I, I feel like I should be enjoying these last couple of weeks a little bit more but like I said it's you know every step you feel like you're gonna pee and you know looking after three kids already and the waddling and it's just it's exceptionally uncomfortable but it doesn't stop the the feeling of guilt that you've got because you're not, you know, basking in the joy of impending motherhood um, again. So, yeah, so a little bit of a head mess um, with me this week, but uh, other than that, things are going swimmingly. Uh, God only knows what I'd be on the scales this time around. I'm just huge, huge, huge. Um, and if I had. Um, some Dutch courage maybe later I might show you um, just how horrendously big my valley is it's um, it's uh, quite funny and my husband was so 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 supportive the other night um, I was sitting on 
a computer chair at the table. Um, you know, he was getting the kids dinner. You know, he's putting the last of things on the plate, getting it together. And he looked over at me and he said, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but you are massive. That baby is going to be massive. You have never been that big before. And I'm like, how can I take that the wrong way, my love? The love of my life? The one person that I want just to be supportive and awesome and, you know, like, and I was, oh my God, thank you so much for sharing that little bit of thought that jumped into your head there that you felt that you had to share. But anyway, best be home. Did I mention I stayed on budget with groceries and I got myself a new phone case for 75 cents. So, stoked about that because this iPhone case that I've got now doesn't protect the, um, you know, the mute little switch on the side of the iPhone and it's, you know, it's forever muting itself and I can't hear when people ring and it's doing my head in. So, hopefully this one will be better. It was uh, $25 or something like that, marked down to 75 cents. So obviously, the red color that it is didn't appeal to the majority, but yeah, it doesn't bother me. I don't care. Well, anyway, well, uh, take care. Hope everybody has a lovely weekend. Hopefully, I'll get this up um, straight away when I get home. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, be talking to you soon. I'll give you a quick one on Monday just to say good day and uh, let you know what the doctor says. Oh, and like I said, if I get the Dutch courage, I might even do a little bit of a belly, belly shot number after a bath tonight when I'm all clean and uh, not much um. Okay, take care, have a lovely weekend, bye!